Here's a quick little comparison video about um, trailer adapters. So the idea here is from uh, earlier um, videos I've done, I've got this light bar. So there's the light bar installed on my truck. And it has your standard four pin trailer adapter. So it just comes in here and would plug in. Now we all know that the Tacoma has this uh, seven blade adapter right there, or seven blade connection. So I have this adapter right there. It's a pretty simple, easy thing to get. You just kind of plug it in and then that's how your connector can go. Now, I'm not a big fan of this because look how much it sticks out there. And I did have my the first uh, LED light bar I had back here. Uh, got kind of ripped up. Uh, some of these wires here got pulled out, perhaps when I was off-roading. So this does hang down quite a bit and really messes up with your departure angle. So I'm looking at other options for how to um, wire this thing up without having to, you know, cut, uh, cut into wires and do everything, um, you know, splice it in all individually. So that's why I have these. I got these all from Amazon and just thought I would try a whole bunch here just to show you how they are. And we've got various kinds here. Here's one from Hopkins and um, it's got, there's the seven blade connector right there. And then here is the, the uh, four, your standard four connector right here. Now, for some reason, Amazon sent me the wrong one. This is a, a twist-in model that, uh, at least on some domestic trucks, just kind of plugs in and twists in, and there you go. So not exactly what I ordered, but pretty close. Anyway, there's that one. We have one here, which I um, don't recall the, the name of this one, but this one would be, would be the simplest. You see how there's our, our connector for the seven blade, and then for the four prong here, instead of me having to, you know, plug my plug in right here and have it hang out, I've got this uh, sort of wire connector here, a little conduit, and I could maybe route that up and keep it up higher off the ground. And then we have what seems like the coolest version, and this one is uh, from Kurt. And what we have here is, there's your, uh, your standard seven blade right there that would kind of go in the normal spot, but then kind of wired into it is a, is a connector for, there's our, our four, four piece connector there, which I could, uh, you know, wire up the, the trailer lights uh, that way, and then just have that tucked in, routed away, uh, way up underneath, and I even have it come out. And um, then these all have uh, this plug right here, or these two anyway have this, this type of plug, which is uh, it's called a U USCAR, USCAR plug. And uh, with many trucks, the um, behind your seven blade connector just unplugs, and this would actually go in there and kind of take the place. So it would be best if we could actually use something like this. Uh, this kind of setup here really does seem, uh, seem pretty cool because then it leaves a seven blade just there right where it was, and then I've got this one here. Now, you might see with some trucks, they actually do have the, the four prong and the seven blade there all together back here. Uh, with many, you know, some domestic trucks, it's kind of right up in here. Um, that would be the best option, so I wouldn't have to use this adapter. But let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. These are 12 millimeter bolts that uh, hold this on right there. You can see where where that goes. I guess I didn't have to take it off, but um, I wanted to just so that I could maybe have a bit more freedom to maneuver this around and take a look at it. See the other side of this uh, this plug here. But those bolts were really, really frozen and stuck in, so I shot a little bit of penetrating oil and that helped to get them loose. But anyway, uh, 12 millimeter bolts. Now in trying to figure this out, the actual blade for the plug, I can stick my finger in here. So they must go to about here. And this is all solid right here, kind of one piece. The only movement is right here. Right here with the sort of this bent cap. And I can get a little bit of movement right about here. I can twist it just a tiny bit. So this is a separate piece. But I'm not finding anything that looks like it will really easily come off there, like it unplugs. 
there's a little latch right here you can undo. See that? Just kind of put a little screwdriver in there and kind of pop that out. And when you do that, you can split this little piece apart. And when you look inside, you can see there are the wires. So all the separate wires are then kind of wired into this here. So it doesn't appear that there's any kind of plug that you can plug into that um, USCAR, um, I guess, uh, port or, or, or uh, adapter and just plug it in like on some trucks, especially like uh, domestic trucks. So there's nothing like that. This doesn't come apart and unplug. You just have the wires uh, right in there. So the options where you plug something in and uh, kind of then replace this uh, seven blade adapter here, seven blade uh, plug, uh, it just won't work. So unless I wanted to cut these wires and then, then uh, splice them in individually, um, that's just not really going to be uh, a good option. Um, the best thing I think would be this right here, right? What I would have to do is cut all of these wires right here and then splice them in, making sure, you know, I get good connections all the way. And uh, then I could just mount this up instead. So, you know, that would be probably the only viable option. Um, this one right here won't work at all. So if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to uh, cut and splice or solder seven wires, this is the way to go. Again, that's um, this item right here, USCIR Custom Wiring Harness by Kurt. But I don't really want to do that, at least not right now. So I may just go with the simpler option of just taking this and plugging it in and using this uh, sort of extended end to route my actual connection up a little higher. And this is what I actually ended up using. So it says Car O Fix. Trying to get some focusing here. Uh, seven to four pin adapter. Uh, anyway, purchased off of, um, off of uh, Amazon. And this is probably the best solution uh, as far as being the simplest, easiest, and um, giving your, your cables the best amount of, of protection. So, unless you want to start splicing a lot of things together, this one is a pretty good way to go. So uh, that's what I did. I took the easiest possible solution and just used this adapter right here. Just kind of plugs in. There's the seven blade. Plugs in right there. Here's the four plug right there. Plugs in. Got this nice beefy conduit holding and protecting all those uh, wires there. And then I just took any of the extra slack, took a big zip tie, zip tied it uh, around my, my, uh, my trailer hitch here. And so there's that cable right up there. And it's like grabbing it right there on the top of the, of the trailer hitch, right? And so we've got that. It looks like it's actually in a little bit more, like it's a little shorter. So as I, as I come out, that's, that's what I have. I've got this little cap dangling there, which may get caught and ripped off on something, but I guess I don't care since I'm always going to have these together. But yeah, that's what I got. So it holds it up higher off the ground, and um, uh, you know, the, anything kind of fragile is protected because I've got it way up here now. So we've got more more ground clearance right here. I'm thinking it'll interfere with my departure angle less. Now, if Toyota had been smart. They would have made oop, they would have made the kind that has uh, you know the USCAR plug so you could replace this type of thing here, or even smarter they would have put one they would have mounted this say right up here in the um, in the bumper so that your any kind of trailer connection you have is much farther away from the ground here, and then of course the best most awesome option would they would have been if they had been, done both the seven and the four for it, but anyway since we don't have that. This, I think, will do. It's a pretty good option. Uh, better than a little common one uh, like this.